Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we are going to cover some very important and most frequently asked collection framework differences. Like what is the difference between array and array list, difference between vector and array list, linked list and array list and many such types. To support us, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Then only YouTube algorithm will help us reach more enthusiastic developers like you. So let's get started. What is the difference between array and array list? So everything what we learn is with a demo. So we'll also learn these differences with a demo only. This is how you create an array and this is how you create an array list. Now what do you think is the main difference between these two statements? First thing is array is static in size. So here you assign the number of elements you're going to put into an array and this is static. If you put 11th element it will say array index out of bound or some some error Java will throw. So this proves that this array is static in size while when it comes to array list it is dynamic in size it initializes with an empty list and the initial capacity of 10 so where is this initial capacity here you defi define your initial capacity of 10 so here you hard code 10 and it is static while in case of array list it is dynamic it initializes with 10 but increases as an on you start increasing the size of array list so if you put 11th element it will automatically grow in size and become 50% of its original. So the, now the new size will become 10 plus 50% of original. So that is 50% that is 5. So something like 15 as soon as you add 11th element. So that is why array is static in size. While array list is dynamic in size, it can be resized when needed. So when it will be needed, when you put 11th element, it will be resized to 15 capacity. A very important thing to note here is that ArrayList internally uses array only. If you go into this with F3, this is the constructor which constructs an empty list with initial capacity. It initializes its data and the data is nothing but an array. So internally, ArrayList uses array only in which elements are stored. So internally, Array list is backed by an object array. Now array is fixed in length data structure. So it's 10. You cannot increase anyhow. And array list is variable in length. The uh, next property is what objects you can store in these data structures. So in array, you can store both, both objects and primitive types. So I've given you an example here. This is a primitive array of type int. And this is integer array of type integer, which is a wrapper class, which is an object in Java. So you can create an array with both primitive as well as wrapper types. But you cannot create array list with primitive types. You can only create array list with custom objects or existing objects only. So if you, even if you try to put int here, that is to create an array list of type int, it will give you error. In array, you can store both objects and primitive types. While in array list, you cannot store primitive types at all. It will automatically convert primitive to object if you try to add some primitive into the array list. Now, next very important point is performance. So it's always said array is faster as compared to array list because of its fixed size. While array list is slower in one operation, and that operation is when it tries to resize when it is full. So array list is dynamic in nature. Whenever the threshold is reached, it will automatically resize itself. So how it will do when elements are full and more elements are to be added into the array list, then it will use a temporary array to copy elements from old array to new array of size increased by 50%. So initially your old array was of size 10, your new array is of size 15. So you, whenever 11th element is added, all the 10 elements from the old array is to be copied to the array of size 15 and then 11th element is added to the new array. So this copying of old to new array will take some time and hence the resize operation is slow and hence array list becomes internally slower than array. To get an add operation or delete operation is almost same as we have in array because internally array list is backed only and only by array itself. It's as good as you are doing in array. Next important point is initialization. It is mandatory to initialize the size of array while initializing it indirectly or directly. While it is not the case with array list, it will create the array list of default size. You can, you may not specify its size. If you remove this 10 here, it will, uh, the Java compiler will start giving you error. It says variable must be provided by dimension or array initializer. So you need to initialize it either with the initialization way or with the size. 
So here I'm initializing it with 10. So a memory area with 10 spaces, contiguous block of memory will be created. Um, it's mandatory to initialize your array. It's not the case with array list. By default, it will take 10 as the default capacity. Now iteration, you can use for and for each loop to iterate over array. There is no other way to iterate over an array. While in array list, it is provided with an iterator also. So you can use iterator to iterate over array list while for and for each loop for arrays. And there is a way to fetch the length of array in array list. So there is a very big difference in how you fetch the length of it. So let's see how you can fetch. So I'm initializing a length variable here. Now how will you fetch the length of int array? Int array gives you a length variable with which you can find the length of an array while array list gives you a method known as size. It's not a variable, it is a method. So you can find a very subtle difference between array and array list. Array gives you a variable named as length while array list gives you a method named as size. So this is how you find the length of array or array list. One is a variable, one is a method. Remember this difference. It's a very big difference. Important why you code. Now single and multidimensional. So array can be multidimensional. So here I can create a multidimensional array like this. So 10 cross 10, this is a 2D array. Even you can create 3D array. That is 10 cross 10 cross 5. So it is x, y and z. So this is three dimensional array. You cannot do that with array list. So this is a very important difference. Array is multidimensional can be multidimensional while an array list is always only single dimensional. Now as already told array is a continuous memory locations that is adjacent memory locations is to be uh, allocated for an array while it is not important for array list. So objects are incapable of being contained in a contiguous allocation of memory. Now how do you insert objects in array and array list? So in array you can do assignment operation like int array of 0 equals to 1 while there is a method for array list a method named as add here you can add your 1 now this is primitive type but internally it is auto boxed into integer and moved from primitive to wrapper class because array list is of wrapper type now generics are not compatible with arrays while array list always allows generic so this is a generic type so that was all about array and array list now we'll start with array list and vector Okay, so very important difference between array list and vector is array list is not synchronized while vector is synchronized. When to use array list and when to use vector. So programmers prefer array list over vectors because array list can be synchronized explicitly using collections class utility method that is synchronized list which will return you a list which is synchronized. So that is why many programmers nowadays prefers array list only and not vector. Each and every method in vector is synchronized. Now because it is synchronized, it becomes thread safe. While since array list is not synchronized, it is not thread safe. So multiple thread can simultaneously execute and change your data, underlying data. So that is why array list is not thread safe. Now since it is not thread safe, multiple threads can work together, it becomes fast in execution. While since vector is thread safe, only one thread will work at a time, the vector is much more slower than array list. When you have such kind of questions between a difference between a synchronized and a non-synchronized data structure, always remember these three things will always remain true. If any data structure is not synchronized, it will be not thread safe and it will be fast. While if any data structure is synchronized, it will for sure become thread safe. And because it is thread safe, it will be slower compared to non-synchronized version of it. Vector is a legacy class. I can show you that. If you can see, vector was introduced in Java 1.0 itself. So since starting, vector is there with us. While when it comes to array list, it is available since 1.2. So this is a legacy class. Vector is a legacy. Array list is a comparatively new game into newer version. Now, how will it increment when the threshold is reached or when the capacity is exceeded? So array list will increment with 50% of the current array size while vector will increment with 100%. That means it will double its size. So if the array list was of length 10, then the new array list when adding 11th element will be 15 of its size while vector will become 20 of its initial size. Now uh, another last important difference is uh, how do you iterate over an array list and how do you iterate over legacy vector. So, a iterator is used for iterating over array list while vector gives you two options that is iterator and enumerator. So, enumerations work for legacy ones and iterator work for the newer ones. So, vector since after 1.2, this class was refactored or retrofied to implement list interface so that it can become a member of collection interface. 
So after 1.2, it has also started giving you iterator. So if you can see, you can use enumerator and it will return you enumeration so that you can iterate over a vector. It also gives you iterator. So here, since it is implemented with list, so it has list iterator and iterator both. So in vector, you have both iterator and enumerate. And a very important thing to note here is each and every method of this vector is synchronized. So even if you see an add element method, it is synchronized. All the L, all the methods, if you can see, is a synchronized method and hence it is much more slower than array list. Next difference is, what is the difference between array list and linked list? So it's basically a doubly linked list while an array list is internally backed by dynamic array. So we have seen here, our elements are in the dynamic array while linked list is a doubly linked list because it is first and pointer to last node. So basically a doubly linked list. Internally implementation wise, array list implements only list while linked list implements list as well as queue. So here you can see it is implemented with list and the queue while array list is implemented only and only with list. Data manipulation, addition, deletion, which is faster, which is slower and performance wise. So we are going to see this with a diagram here. So it's easy to understand for us. When it comes to doubly linked list, how does addition deletion happens? Now suppose I have this doubly linked list. This doubly linked list has elements 1, 2, 4 and 5. And now I have to do manipulation that is addition or deletion in a doubly linked list. So how will we be doing it? So for the doubly linked list for addition what we do is we put a pointer here as previous node and the next node here. And this is our new node. P.next becomes new. New.next becomes n. So P.next becomes new. New.next becomes n. And this is gone. Since it is doubly linked list, so there will be two pointers. That is the previous pointer also. So now we have to put n.previous equals to new and new.previous equals to p. So this is also gone. And n.previous becomes new and new.previous becomes p. So this is a constant time. So whenever you have to add something in between, you just need to remove these two pointers and add these four pointers, nothing else. So this is a constant time thing, right? Manipulation with linked list is much more faster because it uses doubly linked list. So no bit shifting is required. So there was no shifting. You just manipulated pointers and your linked list is good to go. While in case of array, so this was my array. And this is a continuous block of memory. We have already seen array is continuous block of memory. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 is there. I want to add 3 in between. That is at, po at position 2. That is memory location 2. I cannot do that just like this. It's not an, uh, there is no pointer. It's a continuous block of memory. So what I have to do is, I have to shift each and every bit. So I have to put 4 at 5th position, 5 at 6th position and 6 at a, another position. So this is shifting that is to be done of three bits and then uh, you have a space for three here at the memory location two. So in array, it is much more slower because it internally uses array. If any element is removed or added, all the elements are to be shifted in memory either with bits ahead or bits before. If it is deleted, then you have to move all these bits one by one to a previous memory location. So that is why in array list manipulation is slower while it is faster than linked list. When it comes to the get operation, you can see in Java, here there is a random access which is implemented by array list. And since there is a random access and index space accessing, it is much more faster in array or array list as compared to linked list. Because in a linked list, if I ask you that go here and find the, find the element with a value 4. So what you will do, you will put a pointer temp here. And you will check temp.value equals to 4, no, then temp.next. Is it value equal to 2? No, then next. Is it value equal to 4? Yes, then return this. So if it is the last element, the watch complexity becomes order of n. And hence, the get operation is slower in linked list and faster in array list. If given a situation that your application has many more retrievals and less manipulation, which data structure will you use? So if it is more of Access that is to fetch the data use array list and if there is more of data manipulation use link link list rather than array list. How do you iterate over array list and link list? 
So iterator is always there because both of them are list. You will have an iterator. But there is one more important thing that is descending iterator. So what descending iterator is? You can iterate from the back of the linked list. There is a reverse order iterator that is a descending iterator. Because of this previous node, you can go back and traverse till the first node from the last node. So this is allowed in linked list. This is not allowed in array list because it is internally backed by array and it is indexed based. You cannot go behind. Now last two important differences. What is the initial capacity when it is when you create an array list? So in array list, you are not defining any value. So internally. If no constructor is overloaded, because there is one overloaded constructor available here where you can initialize with a capacity. So if I initialize it with 20, the initial capacity is overridden from 10 to 20. So initial default capacity is 10. While when it comes to linked list, there is no default capacity. So if you can see, there is only one single constructor that is linked list. There is no other constructor. So there is no initial default capacity. There is an empty list which is created whenever you start a linked list. Now the last difference is memory overhead. So array list is much more better than linked list when it comes to memory overhead. Why? In this example only we can see that here you just don't have to maintain your data. You have also to maintain four kind of pointers for each and every element or data you store. Here only data is stored. So in array list memory overhead is much more lesser because you the index holds only the actual data. So here there is only actual data. But when it comes to linked list, it is much more overhead as compared to array list as nodes needs to maintain the address of previous and next node. Like if you have a frequent addition, deletion or manipulation, go for the linked list. But if you have more of a search operation, go for the array list. So I have much more things to cover like difference between array list and set, difference between hash set, tree set and many more such kind of questions. So please let me know in the comment section what were the frequently asked differences that you have faced and we will create a detailed differences between these with the live demonstration and code. Thank you.